Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. It's the 31st of October, twisted, dark, spooky Halloween day, when the wolves howl and the cobbled streets are slick with mud and blood, and blotted giant rats scurry between glowing jack-o'-lanterns. And I've been hacking away at my keyboard, hand-drawing tablet, a candle on my desk, eyes slightly bloodshot and face pale, bringing to life dozens of horrors. And the monsters shriek and chains jingle and I just laugh like a maniac while a piano plays on its own. Alright, that was perhaps a bit dramatic, but yes, I've been working hard on my scary YouTuber-themed card game, bringing to life the chains, Death Duck, the Architect of Evil, and plenty more. If you haven't already, I suggest you watch part one of this card game creation series. There I outline what this project is about and make lots of cards. But for a quick recap, I'm making a small card game where the characters are transformed YouTubers from the beloved game dev community, such as gory murderous toolkit who is Mark Brown who makes wonderful videos on game design, or how about the chains, you've probably guessed it, it's Brackies, the notorious YouTuber who helped me get into game dev about three years ago. Through fun, loose sketching to more detailed, careful inking, I bring characters to life. I don't actually have any game made yet, it's just lots of interesting, cool visuals, but I'll definitely create something playable with all these cards sometime soon. And as I said in the last video, I propose you do the same. You can download all the project files for free via GitHub, link in the description. So all the arts and animations are yours. Why not create your very own game with them? You can use them for commercial projects, monetized videos, whatever you want, as long as you credit me for making these cards somewhere nice and visible. And then share your game in the Blackthorn Pro Discord server and who knows, I might make a video with my favorite card games set in this universe in the future. Okay, let's go through the new characters I created over these past couple days. As I said in the last video, I use Photoshop to make the arts, and then I rig and animate everything inside of Unity. We have the Summoner. That's me and my brother Liam. We have the ability to summon whatever we draw. In this case, a multi-coloured dragon, the architect of evil. My thank you to Adam Miller, who has great videos on game design, but I know his dark underlying plan. In this video, he speaks exactly 666 words. Coincidence, I think not. He wants to sacrifice the world of video games to his dark demon god and rebuild a new one from the ashes. The Were Monkey. Code Monkey is a very cool guy, chilled, smart, but when the moon is full, he transforms into an insane bloodstained monkey. You probably think I'm joking, and good for you. The truth is a terrifying thing to bear. The Berserker. It's Jonas Tyroller. Just watch this video and tell me I'm not exaggerating. When I say Jonas, probably goes out in the woods and indulges in midnight slaughter. The Irish Demon. This is inspired by Games Plus James. I met him at Unity Unites, a very, very friendly person. So I felt it was my duty to turn him into a cruel monster for this card game. The Fire Element. It's Roman, a quality channel about game creation. However, Roman is a pyromaniac. Just wanted to put that out there. As you probably see, I'm always trying to change around my colors. This is a cartoony light style after all. So green, red, yellow, purple, blue cards. I try and use the entire color palette. So what I end up with is a bouncy, playful style. And every card looks nice and unique. Okay, Death Duck. A shout out to Ben, who runs an excellent game dev channel. If the old crones legends are to be believed, Death Duck's quack will turn you insane. Very spooky. And finally, we have The Mastermind. This is dedicated to Danny. His channel blew up in a couple months. 
he understands the YouTube algorithm and through dark tags, twisted video descriptions and a healthy dose of corruption in my opinion, he overtook the world by storm. What he is doing is neither legal nor ethical. He's an evil mastermind, I'm telling you. I just need concrete evidence to bring him down. And that's it for now. There are so many other great channels. I just didn't have the time or energy to turn into a card yet, such as Atmos Games, Inscope Studio, Noclip, New Frames Plus, and the almighty Unity and more. So yeah, maybe in the future, I'll try bringing those characters to life. For now though, I'll try and create a fun little game with all these cards. And of course, share it with you on this channel when I'm done. So make sure to subscribe to continue following me on this journey. Again, if you want to learn how to make game art and animations like the ones I've just shown in this video, I'll have some great videos linked in the description. I'll also mention that The Dreadful Whispers, a weird, spooky game and my biggest project yet, is currently 30% off on Steam for the Halloween sale. I made a whole YouTube devlog series on this channel, documenting the creation process of this world, from the early idea stage all the way to how much money I made after launch, so consider giving that a look. Alright, big thank you to my patrons for supporting me and my work financially every month. And yeah, if you're planning on creating a card game, good luck to you. With that said, see you soon. Cheers.